Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have a Dell G5 computer. This is a gaming computer. And in this video here, I'll be doing an explanation on each of the components, like the hardware, and I explain to you what you can replace them, or maybe to upgrade them, uh, things like that in this video. So I'll go along with you, I'll, I'll take things apart, and I'll explain things as we, as we go along in this video. Alright, so um, let me show you the front of the computer. So, so far you have seen that it says G5 and the bottom here is an Intel i7, the 10th generation and the Dell logo is on the bottom right corner. Alright, so you can have this fancy little, um, you know, grid looking metallic, it's actually it's like a plastic here um, for the intake of the, uh, the airflow, okay? So here in the front, you can see that there's a USB-C uh, charging port. Uh, these are the regular USB 3.0, um, headphone jack and microphones. Uh, this is the power button here. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip it on the side. All right, so this is the side panel. Uh, as you can see, this is just a plastic, a reflection, and you can peel this plastic off in a bit. So let me flip it on the other side. So here on the very top, um, you can see that it says G5 5000. So you have the speaker, um, you know, this, these are for your audio plugs, and this is your exhaust fan. So you have a regular 2.0 USB, Ethernet port, and four USB 3 or 3.1 here in the back. It's very straightforward, nothing really special. You do not see any built-in graphics card on the motherboard so this one here have the uh, external graphics card okay so uh, DVI port HDMI and display port on this graphics card here you can see that this is your power supply so this is a smaller version not the full size power supply um, version of it okay so let me flip it on the other side as as we go along at least I try to show you the model or the serial key uh, product number so you know that we are talking about the same um, Dell here so this is Dell model D28M or D28M003 okay so let's get started uh, let's get started so to remove it you need to remove the two screws on the side panel so let me go ahead and get the uh, Phillips screwdriver All right, now you can slide that, that, that side panel towards your body, okay? Slide it down this way. And once you slide it, the cover, you can just put it on the side. That's how you remove it. So let me turn it around here. I'll explain to you each of the components. So here is the top, right? So this is the front, okay? Here in the top, you can see there's this two port. This two port here is for your SATA, the power. This is for the uh, 2.5 inch uh, hard drive. Okay, so you can put a SSD drive on it or maybe a regular HDD drive on it. So you have two slots here to do that. Now, what it doesn't come with it is you need to have the SATA cable. So this is the, the SATA cable that you need, right? So it has the power for you to power up your hard drive. So assuming that you have this, uh, you know, 2.5 inch SSD drive so you have the power that goes in here if you want to upgrade it okay so you kind of like slide it in okay go go in there for the slot and then there's the power that goes in and here comes the uh, SATA cable that goes in here and this cable right here, you would have to connect all the way to the front here. Okay, so you need a longer one that goes all the way to this direction right here. I'm not sure if I see it. I can't see it on my on my camera, but uh, yeah. So you're gonna slide it right in here, and it goes all the way to the SATA. All right, so you have two slots for you to add on to that. Um, that's how you're gonna do it. Okay. Now let's move on to the next part. Um, here you can.
can see that there are four pin connector, two four pin connector to power on the motherboard. This is your exhaust fan. It goes, you know, suck all the hot air to the back. Here's your CPU fan, okay? So to remove the CPU fan, it's very straightforward. You just got to unscrew uh, these four screws and that's how you remove the CPU fan and the heat sink. Now here is your RAM. So you can see that it's installed in a white color and I think it's an 8 and 8, so it has 16. You can upgrade to uh, 32, another 8 and 8. All right, so it's 32 gigs or 64 gigs is the max. I believe it's 64 gigs is the max you can upgrade to. All right, let's move on to a little bit. Here is actually the hard drive slot for the um, for the regular hard drive, the bigger hard drive, the 3.5 inch. Okay, so I think this is how you remove it. Let's give it a try. So the thing is the way you slide it in. So there's only one screw, you unscrew it and then you lift it up to that direction, right? This direction to your left, lift and move to the left. That's how you remove it, okay? So you want to do is install the regular, uh, the bigger hard drive, the 3.5 inch on it. And this is the uh, the SATA cable where you can plug it in. It came with, and also you can have this one SATA power to power up that hard drive. All right, so to install, you just put it back and put that one screw back on. So let's move that on the side here. Um, I explained to you what is this bar. So this bar has the LED light. So this is the lighting system. And this cable right here is connected to this board. So this Dell board right here uh, controls the, what do you call that, the, uh, the, the lighting for you, okay? So the lighting on the desktop is, is on this one right here. All right, so it doesn't seem like there's an intake fan coming in. So there's only two fan. One is the CPU and one is the exhaust fan. I don't see any intake fan coming from the front here. So that means there's no uh, cooling system coming in from the front. All right, so to remove the front panel, I think it's pretty straightforward. As you can see, there's this little knob here. So go ahead and lift, lift it up a little bit and push to your right. Lift it up a little and push to your right. Same thing for that, and it will just come right out. Okay, make sure you don't pull all the way out because the power button is still attached to this. No, sorry, the uh, LED light for for this Dell, this this lighting right here is still attached here. So this is the uh, the lighting system. All right, so move on to the next part. So um, that's how you remove the uh, the front cover. Okay, and here you will see the graphics card. So this graphics card here has the uh, six pin connector, okay? So if you want to have upgrade graphics card, you can go up to the eight pin connector or both of them, just like that side by side. Uh, this graphics card here is is not the best, but at least it will get the job done for you if you do some gaming or video editing, or even like mu music production. This graphics card should be okay for you to get by. Uh, but if you want to upgrade, definitely you have the uh, the power supply that can support, you know, eight pin connector or both of them, just like that. Now, uh, this is your Wi-Fi card, so it has a built-in Wi-Fi as well. Uh, what else is there? Um, and the power supply. So this is proprietary Dell power supply. Um, this is the 6 pin connector so they are not running on a 24 pin connector and to remove the power supply you would have to remove the two screws here okay so once you remove the two screws and you remove the uh, the three screws in the back here all right so this power supply has a little push you see that blue blue nut right there so this push you push it down and then this thing will slide to your right okay that's how you remove the power supply so this power supply is proprietary, like you see, it's not a full-size power supply. So it's a little bit under power, but nowadays, all the motherboard does not consume a lot of power. And, you know, pretty much it's just you need to have a graphics card and, 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 and there you have it. So um, I think this system is pretty good for a level entry. 
uh, slightly under a thousand dollars you can game on it uh, you can do a lot of uh, video editing on it and um, and you know pretty much everything all you need to do is just in this desktop here all right so um, I hope you like the video if you have any questions uh, comment below I'm more than happy to explain uh, what, what you can upgrade and what you can you know change out the uh, oh s sorry so you, if you realize that there's no hard drive here because uh, this runs on the M.2 NVMe drive so this is a 512 um, 512 gigabyte SSD drive and this is the smaller version just only one chip on it you can actually install the full length on the M.2 drive right so you just gonna move this screw here to the back to the furthest in the back and that is the uh, the full size of the M.2 NVMe SSD drive so this is your hard drive your OS everything is installed right here all right so um, I hope you like the video comment below if you like it please hit the like button that helps me to you know um, help the YouTube to to show more of my video to to other people and and that helps me to create more content for you for the next future um, I, I hope forward that this video helps and explain uh, before you can buy this computer or before you you know put some money to, to buy this this desktop overall this is a good desktop I think under a thousand dollars is not too bad um, but yeah so until next time please take care and I'll see you again take care